at 9, a rescue volunteer falling victim to a deadly animal attack. The 71-year-old killed while caring for an abandoned dog. Her partner devastated. Seven's Marcella Burgos spoke with her. She truly had passion and walked on this earth with love for everybody and everything, but especially animals. Angie Annobile opens up about her loss. Pam Robb was her partner for nearly 25 years. I don't know how I'm going to deal with this just yet. Thursday morning, while Pam was volunteering at 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Authorities say this dog attacked her. She did not survive. Rescue crews rushed a second person to the hospital with minor injuries who tried to help. It was very well organized. It was safe, um, very well run, and Pam wouldn't be there any other way. No way. So we don't know what her story is. We According to the rescue, the dog's name is Gladys. This dog needs us if she was out there alone. They rescued the mixed breed in January from the Everglades. Angie says her focus is on the work volunteers do like Pam, who give animals a second chance. I don't think you can erase a dog's memory once it's neglected and abused, but knowing that she was there with them and made a difference um, it's an unfortunate tragedy, but that's that was her love and passion. Strangers dropped off flowers at the rescue. The group posted a note on social media expressing that their hearts are broken. I know she will always be in my heart because we're that way. Angie will miss her best friend, a woman who spent decades as an educator and loved nature. She just had a Zen quality about her and she was a very balanced, nurturing, loving person, and I just can't believe she's not coming home for dinner. Maricela Burgos, today in Florida. The dog is currently under observation by the county while the investigation continues.